Hey guys, David RKS, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Valenian Extreme Brushless Power System from Traxxas Slash. This is the, um, you can actually get the two-wheel drive slash with this motor already installed, uh, but I bought this a little bit later so I can, you know, build the vehicle how I would, uh, how I would like it. So this is the system, this is the VXL-3S, it's a 3500 kV system, um, that comes with a ESC. Oh, not going to hold my shit over. Supports up to 11.1 uh, volt 3S lipos, and let's see if we can find some more information for the ESC. In, uh, Pacific, yeah, Pacific. I could, I can never find any information about how, like how many amps and stuff the ESC is. Um, but it, in the box, you get a whole bunch of brochures, and so you get some stickers. Uh, this is to make sure you're if you're using lipos, put it into lipo saving mode. Here's the speed, contro uh, the speed controller. Um, so it's, a, it's got two stage thermal shutdown. It's a three profile, or it's got three profiles. So that means you can have it in sport mode, which is 100% forward, 100% brakes, 100% reverse profile, and like all these will adjust your top speed and you know stuff like that, which is kind of cool. So you also get a. Uh, that same kind of manual, but for the motor, which has like a very crude wiring diagram, uh, and it also has an exploded view of the motor and all of the parts of the motor, which is kind of cool. Uh, it has insulation here. This uh, particular motor can be installed on the Rustler, the Bandit, and the Stampede, also the Slash. Um, they don't suggest it with the bigger like the vehicles like the E Revo and uh, whatnot. But yeah, so let's take a look at what the motor actually looks like. Actually, real quick, the reason I had to get this is because this is my old motor, the stock one. As you can see, it's very rusted and corroded. Um, this is from just, you know, water running. Or, yeah, water running. Running it through water. It actually, um, the pinion gear is stuck on there. That's why it's still on there. But it makes it like, it doesn't, like, there's something inside that's corroded, one of the magnets, I'm, I, I'm assuming. And when it spins, uh, it spin, it doesn't spin very quick, and it makes a lot of noise, like a lot of grinding noises and stuff. So instead of, you know, and I was looking at getting a brushless system anyway, so I thought I might as well just get the Traxxas one. There are a lot of options out there, and this is kind of a pricey one, but I knew it would fit, and then I knew it would work with my particular setup, so that's why I went for it. So let's take a look at it. The first thing you'll notice is this is the ESC. That's what it looks, the uh, brush system looks like. It's very similar to the, um, the stock ESC that normally comes with the two-wheel drive brush systems. Uh, however, it's a little bit more refined. Um, it's a little bit wider too. So that's why, so, but this low center gravity Traxxas chassis actually had the mounts for it, so I didn't have to get any adapters or anything. It just fits right in there. Um, so that's cool. And the, the, the only thing I don't like about how this thing is designed is that the, the power cables for the battery is on the same size as the mo same side as the you know the motor cables so you kind of have to like mess with it and it's uh, just kind of kind of weird for, to me and then you got a um, cable for your fan there's an optional uh, extra which is a fan for your heatsink but I've had it out you know doing some t uh, decent uh, speed runs and such and I can never get it you know super warm um, so yeah it's really nothing to look at these cables are extremely nice they kind of not these ones are just like normal cables but this this cables kind of got like a it's got a shroud or whatever it's not like a heat heat sink or anything or um heat shrink it's a little thicker and it's kind of like a skin almost of the cable extremely nice so it probably won't rip and stuff very easy um and this is the motor better angle. I have the RPM bumper. If you've watched my updates, I have the RPM bumper on here and uh, it kind of gets in the way of all this stuff. But this is what the motor looks like. It's uh, blue, just like the chassis, so it matches pretty well. And I like how the cables come out from the top here, so you can just run them through uh, the back here. It works pretty good. Um, I also got a new aluminum spur gear. Um, I don't remember... The, oh, I think this is it. Yeah, this is the, the spur gear that I got. Or not the spur gear, the um, pinion gear. This It's a uh, 23 tooth 48 pitch aluminum pro pinion gear. It was only like $5. 
and because this one was stuck on here now I could heat this up and you know uh, kind of not melt but warm up the Loctite to get the, so I can get the set screw out but I figured I want to use this um, this pinion gear I might use this motor in a different car because like I said it still works it's just loud and it, I don't think it, it's as fast as it, it should be um, now this whole this Valenian setup here is extremely quick like I said before I'm running this in a two-wheel drive slash as you could probably tell and having all the weight in the back and not a lot of weight in the front means means that it's extremely wheelie happy like it loves doing wheelies and so this is what my front tires look like as far as tread and just from one day of running with a 2s lipo this is what it does to it and it does it loves doing wheelies and if you go from like if you just pull the throttle like all the way back you're just the wheels are going to spin and then you'll do a wheelie or it depends on your surface that you're you know driving on but it's extremely wheelie happy um so you might need some counterweights for the front or i'm not sure uh it i don't know how and that's with the two wheel drive slash this has a longer wheelbase so if you're planning on putting this system into a like a, a rustler for example i'm not sure how that would cope because my rustler with the stock motor will pop wheelies all day long so this thing would just be absolutely nuts but it's an awesome motor it gets a little warm uh, but that's probably just because my setup here how I have it all like enclosed and stuff there's not a lot of breathing space um, also you know your pinion gear does affect you know the motors temperature and stuff um, if you're planning on upgrading the system or upgrading to the system or any brushless system I would make sure that your pinion gear uh, or make sure to get a new pinion gear or make sure that your old one will work well with your new motor because surprisingly pinion gears, well not surprisingly, pinion gears are very important to the performance um, of your vehicle and the longevity um, you know for obvious reasons but yeah so it's a very nice system uh, let's go take a look at how quick it is So unfortunately, those were all the clips that I had of the Traxxas um, with the Valenian motor. You know how you pronounce it. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually using a GoPro to record this. So that being said, I'll get another mount. Um, I actually made, I don't know where I put it, but I made one of those uh, mounts you can get plans for online. And uh, I'll fix it up and I'll make it perfect so that I can have a video of the GoPro mounted to the slash um, and it'll be like maybe a five minute long video but for now this was just to really take a look at the actual things you get in the box I was actually just running it not too long ago um, everything holds up perfectly I like I said before I do recommend getting a new pinion gear um, but it's it's a really good plug-in play system oh and if you're curious about what I did with my um, my old ESC and motor. I have this. It's a Duratrax Evader, but I had an older Lego Master 211 account, and I had a uh, unboxing of this vehicle. Yeah. So since then, I kind of ba I've been bashing on it. I actually pulled the original stuff for my uh, Unimog, which is over there. Then realized I didn't need it, so I put it all back. But when I first started working on this, I was really young and stupid. And you can see I bent some of the, the mounts for the servo and the steering plate, and I did it on both sides. Um, so I uh, went through, got some more, uh, you know, fittings. Um, I was able to fit all this stuff down. What I'm actually gonna do, it's like 95%. What I'm gonna do now is probably Dremel, you know, this part off, and then just bolt these two plates together. That might be the easiest thing to do. Um, but yeah, and I need another antenna straw or whatever. Um, so this is the old Traxxas ESC I put in here, the Duratrax. Now keep in mind this is a, one of those budget intro cars. This thing is only $120. All the gears that are in there are like plastic and stuff like that. Um, so I put the the ESC in here, mounted it sideways so the top can fit on. Used some 3M double-sided tape to hold it on there. And then on the back here, um, there's the... Uh, slash um, motor and I was able to get the pinion gear off of it which is right here 
it's the stock pinion gear for the tracks the slash two wheel drive i took that off and i used the stock dirt tracks um i think it's a plastic also pinion gear um so i would say with the like stock this thing says they could do 20 but realistically it was probably doing 15 with all the stock stuff now i'm comfortable saying it's probably doing around 25 with a, a 2s lipo in there which is very very good for this budget car um, as far as speeds going for the Millennium system and the uh, Slash, I would say it's doing around um, maybe 45 or 50 on a fully charged battery. So, and you can see what it's doing to the tires. So I highly recommend getting the Millennium system. I, I'm probably saying it wrong. Millennium, yeah, that's right. Um, system. Um, this, oh, if you're noticing that these are crossed like this, for whatever reason, uh, my my receiver it's one of the, the cheap one that comes with it it's this one um it for whatever reason like the the throttles and stuff are reversed but if you adjust the throttle trim it just freaks out so like you can't control the car so i, I thought the easiest way was just to switch the cables and it works um but yeah so it was kind of a long video i kind of did a twofer uh thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time